Okay, so this is my wife's uh, 2017 Carrera Vengeance. Um, it's a pretty good bike, it's, you know, pretty budget, but it, it rides quite well. It's her daily commuter, so she uses it quite a lot on dirt and road, so it gets quite dirty. It's quite clogged up in places. The forks are completely seized up. They've been that like that for a very long time. But apart from that, it's okay. It had a pretty dodgy bottom bracket, so I've actually had it in pieces for a while, so it didn't take me long to take the rest of the parts off. There's a pretty hefty gouge like in uh, the frame where the uh, crank was. I'm pretty sure the chain slipped quite a lot and uh, it's left quite a bit of damage. So I'm basically just taking this wire brush attached to a drill and I'm just carving it out a little bit. There's definitely much better ways of doing this, but um, this is the way I chose to do it. So it came out okay, like I probably use a bit of filler or something, but as it's kind of behind the crank still, I felt like it would be okay like that. So I'm not gonna make you watch me sand the whole thing down because it took ages. Um, I didn't take it back down to like metal or anything like that. I'm using the Spray Dock Bike uh, Putty Filler. Is that what it's called? Smoothing putty. It's called smoothing putty. I'm using that um, and it says it can go on to paint uh, and even over scratches and stuff. So I thought I'd you know, give it a go. See how well it comes out. I can't remember where I saw this, but as soon as I saw it, it was one of the best things I've seen. It's using like Q-tips or like cotton buds in like bolt holes. Uh, and so like fiddly over the top masking. I also put a little bit of tape on here just where the hanger goes, just to make sure that stays nice and metally. And then just A4 paper rolled up in the bottom bracket. I also do the same thing in the seat post and the steerer tube. I use uh, alcohol to kind of uh, rub down and prep the frame before painting. And then I move on to primer, one of my favorite parts. Yes, it was too windy to be spraying outdoors today. And this is just the first video to what well, hopefully will be quite a few regular videos of the bike builds. I've got quite a lot of bikes lined up at the moment. Uh, we're pretty much all ready to go, so it's just a case of just getting through them. So hopefully the videos will be coming thick and fast. So if you don't want to miss out on the rest of this build, do subscribe. And um, if you head over to my Instagram and follow me there, you might even get some glimpses of what it looks like as uh, I may have finished it already.